imagine what this combination is going to amount to? A three and a half ton digger and a field. And somehow I own both. I bought myself a digger, which is pretty cool, isn't it? I used to play with one of those when I was a toddler, according to my mum, a little yellow digger, and now I've got a three and a half ton one. <laughs> Which is quite surreal, isn't it? But in this space, although that digger looks tiny now, it looks like a toy digger again, in this great big field, I know for a fact that what the three of us have achieved by hand at the playground, and what you and I, Ben, achieved in lockdown in a flat field similar to this, that was actually much smaller, now having that tool, that device, that insane piece of equipment, and all of that dirt, for example, that we drove over in the Nomad in the last video. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> We have a recipe for the sickest videos and the most insane backyard I've ever had. So many people questioned, Matt, you keep renting diggers and talk about the digger arrives tomorrow, the digger goes back on Saturday, all of that stuff. Why not buy one? Well, diggers are really expensive and that antique from a museum <laughs> still cost me loads of money. <laughs> My mate Conrad found it for, for me from a, he like buys and sells plants. So he found it and I took his word for it. It's definitely seen better days aesthetically. Mm. It's been used for, I don't know what sort of job dents a blade like this, this oh steel God. blade, but someone's abused it. But the fact is it runs and I'm pretty sure it digs. I haven't actually tested it yet. <laughs> I've got a ditching bucket, a tooth bucket and another bucket there. <laughs> took me about an hour to pick them up like that, be impressed. <laughs> But look, we're ready to go. <laughs> I've bought a digger, which now brings everything full circle, which means we can get on with this place, this first massive phase of, as promised, a nomad jump. That's what I'm gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna knock that dirt around and make it into a big double for a car. Absolute dream, we can get on with that. <laughs> and then, in the coming videos, I think pit bike track, it has to be, doesn't 100%. it? 100%. You know what pit bikes are, they're just all the same power, they're all quiet, they're all just the same toy. And when all of you are on one, it's the greatest fun, I think, known to man but now i've got the thing to make it all go it's a hyundai i didn't even know they made diggers <laughs> did you no <laughs> i'm really proud of it less about my digger and more about the nomad jump so let's build a car jump the car jump is complete it's massive now i thought today was going to be the day for a maiden voyage a maiden test run and i'm really happy with it these boys however here have got sam and daryl who, I mean, you're far from convinced, aren't you, that it's going to work? It's going to be hard, yeah. It's just too wet. I know for a fact if it's dry, I know how fast that Nomad is. If there was grip up here, even when the front wheels take off, the rears will still be driving. I, it's about 30 foot. It's huge. They're effectively not giving me permission to try it, but I, I wouldn't anyway, it's too slippery. But while we've got all the guys here, this field is going to have far more functions than this massive Nomad jump. So I thought, why don't we cut in a pit bike track? I've got the digger there and a dumper so we can start laying out features. But Sam and Daryl are keen pit bikers, so I want their advice on where the track should go. And this will happen, and it's massive, isn't it? That's the, that will give the sensation of jumping a car. There's no two ways about it. Look how big it is. <laughs> massive. Sticking my winch and front end into the back of that would just destroy the car. For the sake of them being here, I don't want to do a 60 grand car jump. No. It's not worth it, is it? We've got cones. <laughs> I've even mowed the grass for this. Well, Jamie did. Well, I imagine the car jump will eventually become a big pit bike tabletop or something. Yeah. So imagine that's the only thing set in stone of like the path around the field. What stuff does a good pit bike track need? I think like a good long straight, but also some tight inside, outside. Left handers, right handers. <laughs> <laughs> and, Rollers, jumps. And, and jumps. And jumps, yeah. yeah. So I mean, for jumps we need straights. I was thinking to land this, yeah, imagine you've like hooked to that corner so well, free to jump almost this big on a pit bike to then go into a 180 corner that's kind of flat with an outside option would be cool. Use that kind of natural right hander there as a fast right berm. I like it. Go out, round CA Greenwood, back, then left, back up this way. Yeah. 180, <coughs> huge straight with double, 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 double. Then straight down the fence line, then back over that jump. Every turn, you need like an inside yeah, and an outside. Exactly. And the rule can be whoever's in the first goes on the inside, goes yeah. on the outside, and oh, then yeah. anyone else can go whatever yeah. they want. My and brother said get... to put a roller into insides because then it kind of like takes away the advantage. So you have to like go slow and then power out. True, it needs tweaking. A good pit bike track has to be very even and all lays. What are we doing about the jump today? Because we can't do it today. Bring the um, Nomad so we can see actually how fast it can move on this ground. Mate, I bet, it, I bet it'll barely get up the hill to it. Go around the corner. Yeah, but if it was dry... Yeah, but you still it's... got to do a massive turn into a jump. I won't turn. I'll just start backed up against the fence. But why would you make a car jump that you have to start from a fence? <laughs> from a standstill? Well, it's not going to be part of my like daily ritual, is it? Oh, better go out and make sure the car jump's running on perfectly. <laughs> would you like to see my new trick? 
I do. What is it? It's the front wheels again. Oh my god! There they are. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> cutting in the track with tyres and I'm going to grab the digger and build a hip onto that landing Can you just lap here for 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah I need it for then adding features this week Right, you ready? Okay So you've jumped the jump You turn around this Uh, it can't be better. Let's, oh, okay. Let's do more. Do you think the layouts when we start adding features is going to be exceptional? I think it's already exceptional. I mean, even if you just like, have a grass track, it's, this is sick. For the odd like double hit, yeah. berm, rail this and rail that. Oh yeah, boy. Nice that.
Jamie will be back in a minute after tinkering. All right, couple more laps, then Jamie can join. Oh. Couple more, and then you two yeah. and Jamie are going head to head. Okay. Oh my God! Are you alright? Oh <laughs> right? Should we do Battle of the Filmers and Jamie then? Yeah, go, go on. on. Swap over on you get to Go on, Ben. Right, are we ready? In your sick new hoodie. Oh, they've got to hit the jump. <laughs> go. Ben, got in the fast rate. Let's see, he's not even on his own pit bike and he's out front. He looks Coming really in. Oh, oh my word. He's got a very straight back. Does Both he ride horses? Sliding. Is he an equestrian? Yeah. He's got a very straight back. <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> Hit the jump! Jump! Oh. Hit the jump! The Here we go. Off. Here we go. Here we go. He's gonna be gnarly. Yeah. Hit the jump. Oh. Champ. How are you finding filming? It's, it's at, really easy actually. You see, see your helmet. <laughs> It's got mud on it. I had a lump that was so big in my eye, it hurt my eye because it like hit it that there. hard. Like a big apple. Too good. Look, four days have passed, it's now sunny, and yet this is still like a bog. This car jump, the dream of jumping my car that distance, probably isn't gonna happen for weeks. Like, it's just sat here waiting, which feels like the carrot's being dangled right in front of my face. <laughs> but it's just November, isn't it? What a shame that we built that, and I was so sure I was gonna fly in my car. And I will at some point, but it's gonna be weeks away. So let's focus on what we do have, which is an epic template of a pit bike track. I mean, that was so fun. That was absolutely brilliant. It was superb, wasn't it? The, best. the fun that can be had on a flat field versus all of this work and industrial stuff, that was better. So the car jump can wait. Let's focus on what we have and build a load of cool features to sit on that template and make the pit bike races far more interesting and far more delightful. See you in the next one, legends.